Okay, if you want to use an image sequence on a, an object, mm -hmm. uh, I'm just going to take a plane here. Um, if I right click it and say assign new material, yeah. that will allow me to uh, attach a file to this. So I've got Lambert 2 up here. Um, I'll just call that Lambert 2 TV. With the color option here, I can click on this checkbox mm -hmm. and I can tell it to link to a file. Okay. And then it tells ask me which file I'm going to use. But this checkbox here says use image sequence. Uh huh. If I click on that one, and if I have an image sequence, uh, I, will, I haven't. I'm not sure I've got one in my scene here. A, a video. Ah. Yeah, it's a video, but it's rendered as an image sequence. Mm -hmm. So going from one to. Here I've got 1 to 11 here, so I can open that sequence I've just rendered. Um, and if I turn on the colours for the scene here, I can see that that's, uh -huh. that's in there. So I actually scaled it the wrong way, but you can fix that. Um, and then as I click through each of these frames, you can see that it starts moving. So oh, OK. There. So because it's an image sequence, that would work. So if you rendered a a bouncing ball sequence yeah. or something like that going round your screen, um, you can render that out as a sequ pre sequence. Oh, and, and use that as a texture. Oh, okay. So the same way that I add texture to it, I can yes. add videos as well. Yes. The only, the only difference is you're using that checkbox for use image sequence on, oh, yeah. on the color. So if we want to go back to that, if I select the object again, find the color, um, and it's this one here, image sequence there. Perfect. Um, and, um, yeah, you can tell us how to how to work with that. Okay, perfect. Thanks. Okay, great.